hello there so welcome to an another Shopify tutorial in this video we are going to show you how to uh, create variation meta field and display the data on product template so uh, as per my clients requirement uh, he want that uh, when a meta uh, when a variation uh, selected the description or uh, the product description will be changed will be changed so uh that's what uh, we are going to uh, do and uh, as you see here uh, when we remove uh, the argument or from the url it is only the product uh, plain product url and now you see here is the data the data you see here uh, is the original product description but uh, we want to show here uh, when uh, a variation field or preparation item is selected, uh, uh, the variation description will be shown here. So, uh, what we did uh, for this task, uh, we uh, created a custom data for variation, or you can say it is a meta field. So to do that, uh, we click uh, in our, our Shopify admin. From our Shopify admin, we go to settings, and then uh, from the left sidebar, we go to uh, custom data. Here, custom data, and then you see the variation. We are selecting the variation, and you see we have already created a. Uh, meta fields called variation description so uh, here you see the variation description uh, and uh, okay uh, I'm going to show you how to create another one so first uh, we are uh, going to click on this add definition and then vari uh, variant, uh, variant description test and from here uh, we are going to select the type so as uh, the, the description might have a picture or uh, a lot of text or something so we are going to use the rich text uh, type for this uh, field so we just select it and uh, we click on enable on this by default it is uh, enabled we keep it enabled and then click on the same button so we will need uh, this uh, key uh, this is a meta fields key we will need that so uh, now uh, we are going back or uh, close close it out so uh, here is a product called beep uh, blongis where uh, preview in a new tab and then uh, we are going to uh, edit uh, the pip block case. And uh, now uh, here you see the variation field and uh, add option like size or color. So we are going to add uh, a variance. Uh, it will be style. In my case, and uh, the variant might be BT. BT, the variant could be BT or vegetarian or something like that. B E Z T R I N. So, vegetarian, vegetarian. Okay, so now done. And here is our variants. So we need to save uh, these senses. All right, uh, it is sensed. We need to refresh this page. So click on uh, this meeting or the uh, uh, variant name and. Uh, uh, the variant edit uh, field will be uh, uh, will be uh, open. So here you will see our uh, variant meta fields, uh, the variants we created. 
uh, variant description test and we can uh, give the uh, description here so it is ampli blong is we copy uh, the text Methene. and then a uh, variant description this is a uh, for test purpose only uh, so we copy uh, then we make it like this and now we save it so then uh, click on this the vegetarian and we are going to just replace the BT into the vegetarian copy paste and then turn it to another list and then save it go back to a product is edit page and uh, here you see the template template is beep uh bolongis beep bolongis all right so we are going to uh edit this beep bolongis template so that uh so that uh when we uh sensed uh or uh, we make the edit uh, on this template and display the variant description here so we are going to uh, customize we will go to customize uh, for three templates ok going back and uh, from here you will see themes and we will go to customize in new tab in a new tab let it open the editor and from here uh, we are going to products and then our bleep longest template here it is and uh, here you see it is a variant and uh, we are going to add a uh, block here which will be custom HTML and liquid we are going to add uh, custom uh, liquid and uh, some javascript here to function uh, what we want like this ok so uh, we uh, google uh, the solution to find out the solution uh, you can uh, search display Shopify variant beta fields in product template. So, uh, when you search uh, uh, these terms on Google, you will have a you will have a lot of uh, results uh, on Google page, but uh, there is a, a result on the top from the how to use variant meta field on your product template from e-composer so we are going to going to this result so they have a code snippet and uh, sorry here you see uh, as you we used this type uh, this text type for the meta fields when we created our meta fields we used uh, here you see uh, this text type for our uh, meta fields so so we pick the code uh, for this uh, text type but not this one we will scroll down and then we will uh, copy this code from here uh, this is the code we are cop copy this code and uh, we are going to take it in a notepad or if you have a visual studio code you can open or uh, a new tab and paste uh, it there so now we're going to customize uh, this code uh, the, uh, for our uh, custom field so custom meta field so this uh, key 
and uh, this thing uh, will be just here as per our needs so let's uh, go back to our browser and then here you see namespace and key we need to copy it and then go back to our code editor replace it uh, from here So it will be variant metafields custom variant description. So and now uh, we need another uh, selector query selector which is uh, the uh, class name class name of this uh, description field. So it is a uh, Podas description RTE. So from here we copy the class name then going back to our editor and replace this code uh, class with our class name. So for now that's it. Let's copy the code and uh, paste it in our in our uh, custom liquid field. Let's save it. So, uh, we just saved it. Refresh this page. So click on the this. Okay, it is not working. But let's see. Let's see the update fields we have added here. Or data custom. Uh, okay, product custom liquid. All right. Uh, here we see our data is rendering, but uh, something is not working here. But it is not a problem. Uh, let's uh, refresh the page. It will be work hopefully. We are going back to our product page. Then uh, preview. Uh, refresh on. Then let's create vegetarian meeting. Vegetarian meeting. Okay, there is nothing yet. But there might be some problem we have with our code. Uh, we copy it and uh, paste it in our working code to see what's wrong here. So uh, we have uh, some problem here. Uh, here you uh, see uh, this is not a select type input. Uh, it is uh, it is a input type radio input type. It is not a select input type. So uh, we need to change the select to input. Uh, here we. Change the input and let's copy the whole code and now we are going to replace it our template save it then refresh uh, the product page again Time time is text time. Uh, so 
So the page is here. And uh, let's see uh, if our code is uh, working or not. So we are clicking on vegetarian and you see the description, the main description is just uh, says or replaced by vegetarian variant custom data and if we click on meaty I think I I hope it will be sensed with the meaty uh, variants. So this is uh, it. Uh, in this way you can uh, display the uh, variants custom uh, metafields data on product templates. Hope uh, this video you will find helpful and uh, if you found this help, uh, video helpful feel free to share with your uh, colleagues and friends or in social media and uh, press the thumbs up button or if you have any question about the video or the problem uh, with the solved uh, you can comment in the description have a good one bye bye